Hi everyone, this is Kate from the blog Educational Technology, and I'm here today to show you some basics in Active Inspire. I'm going to start off by inserting a new page into my document. I'm going to come up to Insert, Page, and then select Blank Page After Current. The first thing I'm going to do is add some text. If I wanted to change the color of my text, I could select it, click on this square, and I could change it. I'm going to go back to my mouse tool. After I click on my mouse tool, I can select things and move them and manipulate them. Another tool I'm going to show you how to use is the pen tool. Over here, you can change the color of your pen, and you can change the thickness of your pen by dragging this bar. And you can see you can get a variety of thicknesses. If you needed to erase this, you could again select the eraser, and you also can change the thickness of your eraser. If I wanted to clear things a little more quickly, instead of using the eraser, I could use a spray bottle. And here I can clear my annotations, objects, the grid, the background, or the entire page. So if I just wanted to clear my annotations, I could click on Clear Annotations. But if I wanted to clear objects, like my word, triangle, I could hit Clear Objects. If I wanted to undo something I just did, I could click on Undo or Redo if I want it to be done again. Another tool I'm going to show you is the Highlighter tool. So you can click on your highlighter. Again, you can come over here and click on a color. You can select a color that you want to use. And again, you can check and drag your thickness. If you wanted to clear your annotations, again, you would hit Clear Annotations. You can also use the Bucket tool to give your page a colored background, or you could fill in a selected area with color also. Here you have a Shapes tool. So if I wanted to make a triangle, I could select the Triangle tool. If I want my triangle to be black on the outside, but blue on the inside. Up here I select the color of the outside of the shape and over here I select the color of the inside of the shape. If you don't have a color here in this palette that you're looking for, you can right click and you get more options. Okay, so I can just drag and create my triangle. Another tool you have is the connectors tool. These would be useful if you are making any sort of um, concept map, mind map, anything like that, flow chart, those would be useful. If I want to delete something, I can click on them and just hit delete. Now here you see I have a problem with my word being behind my triangle. You can come to your object browser and you can drag objects from layer to layer. So now the word, I drag my text to the top layer. You could also do this by right-clicking on the object and selecting one of these options. You can th bring things forward and backwards. You can put them in a specific layer. Well, that's all I'm going to show you today. I hope you found this helpful. Please stay tuned for more tutorials where I get into some of the fancier things that you can do with Active Inspire to create really engaging lessons. Thank you. Please check out my blog, Educational Technology, and follow me on Twitter at Educate Tech and on Pinterest, again, at Educate Tech. And you can follow me on Facebook and on Google+. Thanks. Have a great day.